بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم با اجازه دوست و رانمای بزرگوارم دکتر سبسفنتا دوست عزیز اول خود دکتر سب مرادیان از شما و از امکاران شما یک جان تشکر که دعوت کردین و واقعا بار اول ما است که در این سلسله کنفرانس ها تانستم که در این بلاخره اشتراک کنم اما واقعا یک ابتکار فوقلاده است که بسیار ما قدردانی میکنم ما اگر دوستا و بزرگوارا اجازه بتن خاطر که خود پنل یک مقدار به مسائل منطقه و بیشتر فراتر از افغانستان ارتباط میگیره صحبت میشه که به انگلیسی اگر چه بارنی خوب فارسی میفهمه اما اناف اما بنان میشه که به انگلیسی ادامه بدم you uh, our moderator just um, unilaterally decided to uh, uh, expand the scope of the discussion and i think you did me a favor because i uh, i thought for an afghan to talk about pakistan which is uh, really the subject that was uh, given me given to me in the uh, in the program uh, was going to be more like a broken record again uh, because uh, uh, because you you've heard us uh, 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 talk about pakistan uh, before uh, certainly uh, so, so I'll maybe talk a little bit about what I the notes that I had prepared for uh, you know in an, uh, for that particular subject but I think more more importantly the uh, expanding it and looking at the region uh, broader would be uh, would be uh, more appropriate uh, uh, as, as a grand bargain um, so can, can Afghanistan really move beyond Pakistan uh, the, the sort of the stalemate in terms of the relationship with Pakistan um, I think yes, uh, we certainly can. There is uh, there is always a way out, and I think the INUG and uh, the National Unity Government tried in its own way to do that, and uh, and failed, uh, like uh, like like I think we did in the in, in our government and uh, a number of us uh, are sitting in this room. Uh, we also tried to engage Pakistan uh, uh, very sincerely. Uh, uh, but it didn't work. So I think a lot of what I said will also follow on uh, in some way from what uh, Christine Fair said earlier in the earlier discussion. Um, although I will take a very strong, uh, uh, Christine is not looking at me, but I'll take a very strong exception with your comment about the evil mustache thing. So, uh, but other than that, I think you and I are in, in, in great concurrent. Yeah, he and I are not the same, but uh, uh, other than that too, but, uh, but uh, yeah. Um, uh, but I think part of the, uh, I think the difference in terms of the approach when we tried to engage Pakistan was, and then, and then right now, the, uh, it, we are in a, in a much more unhelpful uh, relationship with Pakistan than we have been for a very, very long time. Uh, is also uh, that this government actually uh, uh, lacked the, 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 the transparency in terms of approach that, uh, that, that was very important in terms of its engagement with Pakistan. Uh, uh, they tried to do it uh, behind closed doors, which, uh, which is really the, uh, uh, the, the wrong way to do. A lot of times uh, we used to wonder whether it was a good thing uh, that we were a lot of times, uh, and, and certainly at the time I remember our, uh, our Western friends that used to visit uh, Kabul would tell us, uh, don't, uh, don't uh, take uh, uh, these issues out to the media, uh, use diplomacy, uh, talk to Pakistanis. Uh, and, 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 and we used to, as diplomats, that obviously uh, resonated with us uh, as an approach, but um, but I think I now know that uh, the relationship uh, is is so fraught with uh, with history, with uh, with with emotions that uh, that uh, 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 an approach that lacks transparency, that does not involve people in the trust of of, of everybody, the various stakeholders in the in the country, different ethnic groups, different political groups. Uh, unless you engage in that sense, um, it's, um, you risk uh, uh, deepening uh, the problems rather than solving it. So, uh, 
I think the other, the other issue that, uh, uh, the, in terms of uh, a relationship with Pakistan, is that uh, our uh, we can uh, move on from the sort of uh, uh, unhelpful, uh, acrimonious uh, 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 dialogue with Pakistan. Uh, in a way, we we Afghans have have done our bit. Uh, one of the one of the uh, perhaps the overarching goal in terms of our strategy, as always in the last uh, 17 years, has been uh, to advocate uh, with the uh, with the rest of the world, but primarily, I think uh, you know we all know uh, the United States uh, that Pakistan was. Um, was part of the problem rather than part of the solution. It was not an ally. It was uh, uh, it it was um, it was an enemy, um, and obviously that I uh, don't need to really we don't need to go to history that uh, fell on deaf uh, ears uh, for many many years, um, and now that uh, that that has become somewhat, especially under Trump um, administration, that's become somewhat official government policy. Um, it's it's been taken on board. Uh, uh, basically, our work is done. I mean, uh, I don't know, uh, strategically speaking, what else uh, we can, uh, in a way, uh, and I'm talking specifically in terms of the security relationship um, with Pakistan. So we need to, anyway, we need to now move on from the rhetoric that we have had in the last 17 years, which was about, oh, look, Pakistan is supporting uh, the Taliban. It's, it's, it's where the terrorists come from and all that and and, uh, and 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 the rest of the world should take notice that is already done so what else do we do now what what is the new sort of policy line for the Afghan uh, for the Afghan government and the Afghan people uh, but whatever we move on whether we move on or not from that the important question is um, the changes in Pakistan will Pakistan move on will Pakistan uh, give us uh, uh, the hope uh, uh, that, uh, that that there is a new future between the two countries. Uh, even if um, I, I I don't I fear today is not the kind of um, opportunity, especially at the uh, we are at the very last session of the day and uh, quite exhausted uh, 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 to really discuss about some of the insurmountable issues that exist between the two countries. At the end of the day. Uh, it, uh, it can't be just because of a, uh, a number of uh, crazy people who happen to be involved in, in, in policy uh, circles in Pakistan uh, uh, to, uh, to really uh, hold the, the relationship between two close neighbors um, uh, 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 to basically hijack it. There, there are issues. Um, so what are those issues? And I'll have a very, very quick reference to it rather than have a sort of a, a discussion about them. The question of Duran Line, obviously, is, uh, uh, especially if you're a Pakistani, and I've been, uh, uh, I've been hearing that they, they, uh, during our times, um, they were very, there was very little discussion, I must say, from certainly from what I remember. Uh, and partly not because Pakistanis weren't thinking about it, but partly because they were, they thought they were always coming from a from a position of strength, so they never raised it. Um, why would they talk about a boundary that they said they claimed was an official uh, uh, border? Uh, but I'm I'm hearing that now it's raised much more frequently with the um, on, with the Afghan side and also with the um, uh, with the with the United States. Uh, now that's a. Uh, 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 from their point of view, that would be an issue, and obviously, you know the Afghan position. I don't need to repeat it. It's something that uh, it is a historic issue. Uh, I don't think any government would give itself uh, permission to really make a deal on on Duran Line uh, or, or to even to begin to uh, to discuss it, um, uh, unless it's supported by uh, by a, a massive uh, political consensus, a consensus across the country. And I fear the current government. Uh, lacks that kind of a, a political consensus to be able to discuss such a, such a, such a significant issue. Uh, the other major issue that I think insurmountable issue that I will call uh, um, is, is really the insecurity of the Pakistani establishment um, as well. 
um, their, their relationship with India in how Afghanistan is, um, is an Indianized issue and their foreign policy. So unless that, in, 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 and I call it insurmountable because really it's, um, it's certainly beyond, uh, beyond Afghanistan's uh, reach. Uh, and I maybe look forward to uh, uh, comments from, from both uh, Senator Khatak uh, Saib uh, and also uh, my friend uh, Ambassador Mohopadia uh, on, that, on that issue. Um, and and, and uh, 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 finally, on Pakistan, I'll just um, uh, say that um, we uh, should, uh, we on the Afghan side, uh, indeed, uh, should think about a post-Pakistan um, security paradigm for ourselves. And, um, and no, I'm not saying in any way to uh, this to diminish how significant Pakistan's uh, 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 sort of role, influence over uh, Afghanistan's security is right now. But we are increasingly seeing signs that they have uh, a, a much more diminished role than they, they've, they've had before. Uh, Taliban, uh, I think Barney referred to it, uh, have already diversified uh, their the, the uh, foreign uh, sponsors. They have um, now significant contacts uh, among countries uh, of the region. Um, so, um, so I think for us, uh, when it comes to security, we now are in a situation where we have to engage a much wider number of countries across the region than just uh, Pakistan alone, which was really the, at the very center of our focus for many, many years in the past. Uh, so that's, that's really the element number one of a post-Pakistan security strategy for Afghanistan. Um, the, the other element in this, uh, in this sort of post-Pakistan era is the, uh, is the role of the United States in the peace process. Uh, we, have, uh, we, we have now seen the U.S. Uh, fully taking on board the, uh, 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 the peace process and actually doing it, uh, the appointment of Ambassador Khalilzad. Um, from, uh, you know, for what it's worth, and I'm obviously not speaking for anyone, uh, I think that's a positive step. I have never been against the United States talking to the Taliban because I think it's very unrealistic for us to expect that uh, the U.S., with such a massive stake in the, uh, in, in, in the country and also across the region, would, uh, would not speak to the Taliban, engage with them directly, especially when talking is the only strategy you do. I do, um, uh, for my own preference, I would have liked to win the war. I would have liked the American generals to talk about fighting and ask leave it to us diplomats to talk about peace. Um, but when I hear uh, American generals talking about peace being their main goal uh, of their mission, then frankly, uh, you, know, that's, you know, that's what it is. And, and on the Afghan side, we cannot do anything about it. So, so I suppose when they do that, then I think it makes very much, it makes sense that they, that they take the lead. Uh, uh, and I think they also take the lead because, um, um, uh, again, I would, uh, I would emphasize that the, uh, uh, the peace process, uh, uh, in, enduring peace will come when, uh, when the Afghans uh, take over and, and they uh, decide about uh, the future. Because it's not about, the peace process for me is not about the... Um, having a settlement and, and an end to war. Ceasefire is not peace. Uh, that, is, uh, that, that, that is a, a very limited goal. The, the real uh, objective is, um, is an end state to peace, uh, which is what uh, 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 Afghanistan will look like uh, after the war is finished and after the Taliban have come back or some sort of a settlement is done. So that will have to be done by Afghans. Uh, having said that, um, Ambassador Khalilzad has a major mission now, and uh, and I'm and, uh, 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 but but again, sort of coming back to Pakistan, and I think as an Afghan, I give my uh, you know I, I really am quite I can only be disappointed to see um, uh, or that it took Ambassador Khalilzad only three weeks to secure the release of Mullah Baradar and a bunch of others from Pakistani jails when we. Dr. Spanta and I, for, for, for years, tried to negotiate with Pakistanis, and specifically about Mullah Brother's release, and it didn't happen. Um, so I, I, I think for, to see the, the amount of the, um, this shows how the Pakistani establishment actually 
sees this, uh, 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 the, the, the so-called Afghan-led, am I overstep? That was a very threatening move for you to just come. You could have sent a note. He just came like that and I thought he was gonna punch me. Off the <laughs> um, and finally, on the, uh, I, th I think the post-Pakistan thing will also uh, involve very much, to um, uh, Christian Fair's point, will involve uh, an, uh, you know, an economic uh, a strategy by Afghanistan to look away. And I, and I cannot emphasize enough the point you made fully in concurrence with you, uh, Madam Fair, about how important Chabahar is. And it's not in addition to Pakistan, it's instead of Pakistan, because that's how you have to play it. I'm um, not saying that tomorrow, I'm, I'm in business now, so if, so if some of my goods come from Karachi, I won't obviously uh, um, uh, say no to that, but, but it, it means that when you play it in geopolitical terms, you have to develop these routes, whether it's Chabahar or whether it's the, the northern route through, uh, through, uh, uh, through Uzbekistan and Turkmenistan as the alternative to Pakistan. Uh, now, very quickly on the regional uh, picture, if I may, I think it's... it's um, uh, you, well, you said most of it, so I'll, I'll just perhaps maybe uh, focus a little bit on how the Afghan government can, uh, 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 can uh, uh, mobilize uh, uh, a region, the, the region. And, and there was an interesting discussion this morning about the Istanbul process. Uh, perhaps I, I, uh, uh, maybe I could just clarify one thing, is that this region, uh, um, Afghanistan is just a symptom of a, a failure that... Uh, that, that sort of effectively uh, runs a, across the entire region. Whether it's security, whether it's politics, whether it's the economy, it's all um, an ailing region. We are sitting on massive resources. We are interconnected so deeply by culture, by demography, by uh, you name it. Uh, yet we are divided, we are fragmented uh, by politics. Uh, whether you take the, uh, you know, the, 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 the South Asian dimension, which we are talking uh, here in this panel, the India, Pakistan, Afghanistan dimension, whether you take the, uh, uh, the, 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 the massively complex situation in the Middle East, you take Central Asia, everything, you, we are divided. There are good signs, of course, and I think Uzbekistan, as we heard today, is an extremely promising uh, scenario there. But... Um, but Afghanistan can, the, the whole uh, point of the Istanbul process was to put, to give Afghanistan agency so that the region can see Afghanistan for itself and not see it as a project of the United States, that they have to engage through, through the U.S. and just see it as a neighbor, see it not just as a, as a, as a, as a, as a battleground, but see it as a... Um, you know, as, as, as something of a potential. And I think we do have that potential, not because we have resources, but we are, let's say, I mean, let's accept it. We are a black hole in the middle of a, an extremely dynamic region because we have, a, whether you talk about, whether we take our economy, which hasn't developed our infrastructure, whether we talk about um, the fact that security-wise, we, we are not conducive to, uh, to, to enhancing the region's security, but quite otherwise we're, we're producing um, threats, uh, unfortunately, or either producing it in the, in the case of uh, drugs or just channeling it if it's in the case of uh, terrorism, which is, uh, you know, we just channel it uh, uh, through, from Pakistan to Central Asia. So with all that, uh, it, would be, it would be extremely important that the Afghan government um, does take the regional leadership re, uh, uh, and things like the Istanbul process very seriously. I have overstepped my time, so thank you so much.